Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, like Senator Specter, I, I come to this uh, hearing with a slightly different perspective. Um, as some of you may know, I, uh, though I'm on the Judiciary Committee, I'm not a lawyer. But I used to be in show business. In fact, uh, I worked for years uh, uh, for NBC, and um, I really feel I owe a lot to NBC. But um, what I know from my previous career has given me uh, reason to be concerned, and let me phrase that, very concerned about the potential merger of Comcast and NBC Universal. Let me start with something pretty basic. It matters who runs our media companies. The media are our source of entertainment. They're also the way we get our, our information about the world. So when the same company that produces the programs runs the pipes that brings us those programs, we have a reason to be nervous. I was at NBC in the uh, 80s and 70s and 80s and 90s, but in the 90s, that's when FinCEN, uh, finan the financial interest and syndication rules, uh, more, most commonly known as FinCEN, were relaxed and uh, then essentially eliminated. And until then, uh, FinCEN rules had prevented networks from owning more than a very small portion of the programs that they aired. This was to prevent an inherent conflict of interest. At that time, NBC executives testified, including Rick uh, Cotton over there who testified, uh, testified that gutting FinCEN would uh, not lead the network to favor its own programming. To the contrary, uh, the NBC president at the time declared, it is in our self-interest to do everything we can do to promote a strong, independent production community. But by 1992, NBC was the single largest supplier of its own primetime programming. Today, if an independent producer wants to get its show on NBC's schedule, any network schedule, it is routine practice, and you guys know it, for the network to demand at least part ownership of the show and it will affect your placement on the schedule, whether you're on the schedule or not, and where in the schedule you are. And that's just a fact. And this was completely contrary to what NBC and the other networks said they would do when they were trying to get FinCEN rescinded. So while I commend NBCU and Comcast for making voluntary commitments as part of this merger, you'll have to excuse me if I don't trust these promises. And that's from experience in this business. Now, to make matters worse, after FinCEN uh, was rescinded, studios started buying up networks. It opened the way for the studios to buy the networks. Disney bought ABC, uh, Viacom, which owns Paramount, bought CBS. And I'm worried that this merger could set off another round of media consolidation. The next thing we know, AT&T and Verizon may decide that they also have to buy a Hollywood studio and a network in order to compete. And that would hurt the ability of Minnesotans and people around the country to get access to important information, and it will make their cable bills go up. I look forward to hearing to today's testimony and the opportunity to discuss some of these important issues with you all in more depth. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Frank and Senator Feigl. Mr. Chairman, I know we're deep into the vote, so let me just say a couple of <laughs>